Palace concerned because King Charles refuses to take on Prince Harry's royal role. Despite stepping down from his royal duties nearly four years ago, Prince Harry remains tied to a royal role, a role King Charles wants to continue with his youngest son. According to a constitutional expert, King Charles left Buckingham Palace worried about the decision to keep Prince Harry tied to a key royal role. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. The Duke of Sussex, despite no longer being an active royal, is still one of the King's advisers of state. This means Harry is one of seven members of the royal family, who can stand in for the monarch if he is abroad or feels ill, a role also filled by his cousin, Princess Beatrice. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle decided to step down as working royals in early 2020, after which the couple quickly relocated to the United States. Although the king had the option to remove Harry from the role and requested that his son be removed from the role, he chose not to do so. According to the Times, the king's decision had created a dilemma within the palace walls. By law, those chosen as state councillors must reside in the UK, but since Harry left royal duties in 2020, he no longer has a UK domicile. Earlier this year, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were asked to leave the home they owned in the United Kingdom, Frogmore Cottage. The couple confirmed the news in a statement saying the house was a gift to the couple from the late Queen. Dr. Craig Prescott, an expert in constitutional law, told the publication, We are truly in uncharted waters here, the situation surrounding Prince Harry is not something the law easily allows. The idea of the king's second son choosing a life outside of his royal duties is not something the law has entertained, and I imagine Buckingham Palace would be concerned. King had the opportunity last year to depose him before the State Legislative Council, but he chose not to. Earlier this month, Harry returned for a short visit to Britain, where he stayed for less than 24 hours. After attending the Well Child Awards in London on September 7, the Duke visited the late Queen's resting place at St. George's Chapel in Windsor on September 8, the first anniversary of her death. Without a base in Britain, Harry was forced to spend the night in a hotel after being denied entry to a royal residence for failing to give sufficient notice of his trip. The Duke is due to be in Britain in January, and advance planning is required if he wants to stay at a royal estate. 